it is, what it do, and how the hell are all of you? With yours truly, Petrov motherfucker, in this motherfucker, back for the first motherfucker of 2020. You already know the deal, we keep it real. You know what it is, I'm doing the music ones first, then I'm doing the political ones, I've been working really heavy on this music one, because I think this is a good one, I enjoy this fucking one, so we're gonna work on this one, and then I'm working on the political one, that'll be on later tonight. Now, we're gonna get them both out today, but... Gotta do the music one first, because I already know all my music heads love that shit. Gotta get that music out first. And we is smoking on some Blue Dreams, some Green Crack. You already know the deal. I already went over this. I gotta mix the two. I don't know. It's like I'm junkie when it comes to cannabis. Gotta mix them together. You know, doesn't matter if they're both Indica, both Sativa, both hybrids. Indica, Sativa, mix, hybrid. What it, it doesn't matter. I can, I'm not going over all that. That's a lot. You know what I'm saying? But either way, you know we smoking. You know the deal. Anyways, so, we got a lot to go over today, man, a lot. I almost don't know where to start with this. Like, I, I don't, maybe I, maybe I'm wrong, maybe I start with the bottom, maybe I start with the top, you know, I don't know, I don't know. But, I know where I'm going to start. I'm going to start with the homie, Plague. So, the homie Plague, man, he been at J-Rod the Prom's throat. Now, like I said before in a previous podcast, I don't know really what all started this. I know they went on a tour together last summer. And shit just hit the fan. Play came back early. From what I've gathered myself, looks like J-Rod the Problem is taking people's money and not paying them when he's supposed to pay them or not paying them how much he said he's going to pay them. Whatever it is, J-Rod the Problem put out a disc, said maybe two, three words about Plague, and then kept that shit rolling. But Plague been on his been at his throat for the past, you know, nine months. And uh, whether it's uh, dissing him, and this ain't no sneak dissing shit. Plague is very, very clear about it. he can go fuck himself. Kind of like what Adam Calhoun Hoser. Adam Calhoun calls out Hoser all the time. Hoser tries to say some shit. Except the difference is J-Rod don't say shit back. Uh, there's a video of J-Rod. The problem was outside Tech 9s office, Strange Music office. And from what Plague says, J-Rod and them stood out there. And basically just stood out there until Tech came out. Just was going to wait till he was going to leave, I guess. that's From what Plague says, I'm going to take Plague's word... For truth, because he ain't never lied. That that I know of, that I've caught him in, I've never caught him in a lie. And everybody that I know that fucks with him speaks highly of him. And I fucks with him, and I speak highly of him. He's been on my, been I've talked about him plenty of times on my music part of the podcast. And I'm going to continue. Because this man keeps dropping fucking heat. Just keeps dropping heat. He went at J-Rod's throat with a diss. J-Rod the pussy. Uh, J-Rod, I guess, deacted his Facebook account. I also heard that he took down his diss. Um, I'm assuming that he's just waiting to, he's, I think he's going to try to wait out Plague. Best of luck, I don't think that's going to happen. I don't think anybody can wait out a Plague. You know what I'm saying? I just don't think that's possible. No pun intended. Uh, moving on a little bit. Plague and PT, uh, Play, Plague and Playboy, the Beast. I also call him PTB, Playboy. Plague and Playboy dropped a song called Donald Trump is a Time Traveler. That shit. Bangs. I'm not sure if I already promoted the song. I don't know, but I just know it bangs. I gotta promote that shit again. Bangs. Uh, Plague starts out, just goes in, murdering the motherfucking beat. Playboy's the second verse. Murders the fucking beat. They're both part of murder music. They both spit fast as shit, so if you like fast chopper music, these are definitely your guys to listen to. Definitely. I would definitely say out of the choppers, they are both in my top fucking ten. Top seven. Maybe top five. I'd have to really go over the top five, you know, depending on who else is in the list. But definitely underground wise, these are definitely two in the top five of underground for me, chopper wise. Uh, Plague also has some other music in the mix. He, uh, it was, I believe it's with Plague, PTB, and Twisted Insane. But that's a PSA. He said that on uh, Facebook. I think on Jan on uh, December 29th or something. It was only a couple days ago. But he, you know, he he's very secretive about that shit. Uh, very honest too. Like I said, but. They definitely went fucking in on that song, and I just got to give mad props for going in, because they went the fuck in. And, uh, I mean, just talking about Playboy, um, Joker, the Joker, I just call him Joker. Joker, this this Playboy the Beast, I'm sure the song already premiered, he had it on YouTube, it was supposed to premiere, uh, I don't know if it was leaked, I, I just know Joker has his own channel, and then there's another channel that the Joker... Uh, dash topic or whatever it is on YouTube and they had the song, that song was up there uh, the diss was extremely weak he used a lot of a lot of other names to diss you know, throwing disses and shit at different people and uh, 
what how it all started was from what I've gathered, you know, just seeing a lot of things, a lot of uh, receipts, a lot of this, that, the other. Joker had been ripping off artists for uh, features, not paying, uh, not paying out his portion, not paying people back. There was also a specific incident with a lady named, I believe, Francine or Francis. One of the one of the two names. I don't want to, I don't want to mess the name up. So I'm sorry if I do. Um, she loaned him a pretty substantial amount of money. It was definitely over 10k. And from what I've read from her her comments, it was somebody passed away. I think it was one of her children that passed away, and she gave him the money because I believe she she thought he was a growing artist and could use that investment, and it would come back. Because I know like when Playboy the Beast and other underground artists say, if you invest, I get you your money back. It might not be the next same week, might not be the same month, but they're gonna get you your money back tenfold. Now, in my eyes, if you owe a debt, if Joker owed this debt, he should have been making payments on this shit any chance he got. Because she already understands he's an artist. He's probably struggling to make it. So if you get a little bit of money, you got to throw some back. You know what I'm saying? And I guess he was ducking her for a long time. It wasn't just like a couple months. He'd been ducking her for years. And Playboy and Joker had beef in the past. They dissed each other. Playboy beat the dissed the shit out of him. Beat the fuck out of him on a track, literally. In my eyes, just destroyed Joker on a track. It was one of the first songs I heard of Playboy the Beast was the Joker diss. I can't find it on YouTube or I would have played that shit. But I can't. I just can't find it. Maybe it's on there. I don't know. But I, I'll find it. Um, anyways, Joker wanted this lady to sign an NDA, a non-disclosure agreement. And I know I doubt she did because she exposed him on Facebook for it. And then uh, Playboy the Beast messaged him and was like, yo, you're doing some foul shit. Da, 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 da. You're, you're doing some real snake shit. He also fucked with the rapper NK47. I've talked about NK before. Um, he, there was supposed to be some kind of feature, some kind of money paid, this, that, their thing. It didn't happen. NK ended up doing a verse and not getting paid for it, from what I gathered. So, that being that being all said, he decided he was going to diss uh, another rapper named Dubs. Uh, Dubs came back and murked him pretty easily. I think Joker does a lot of disses, but I don't think he does any research. Um, Dubs came back and dissed him with ease. I also have read a couple comments that he had taken the... Uh, his dis his dub disc down order. I don't know. Maybe that maybe I'm getting something construed there, but I don't know. And like I said, like I said, just in my notes from some comments I've seen. Just don't hold me to that because I don't know if it's true. No, no, no. I'm mixing it up. It's not true. He didn't take the disc down. I just looked it up. He didn't take it down. It's still out there. It's definitely got some dislikes. Anyways, the uh, the YouTube Playboy the Beast got a, Playboy the Beast got his hands on the YouTube link uh, from that the Joker topic whatever YouTube thing. He got a bunch of motherfuckers to listen to the song. Pretty much a unanimous decision. I seen one one comment basically saying that Joker was talented in all aspects of music. I'm pretty sure that dude was was smoking some meth for some crack. Because how could you honestly believe that he's amazing in all aspects of music if he dissed Tech Nine and then backtracked on that shit? Yeah, yeah. I wasn't. I didn't want to bring that up, but I'm not going any further than that. You can look it up. He did, but either way. This goes back, I mean, their first disc, that was in the 2010s, and that was a new decade. I know it's only two days in the new, de- new decade, but it's fucking into the new decade. So it's like he's, Joker just brought up old shit that happened in the 2010s, the old beef that they had, this, that, the other thing, and Playboy basically said, give him a week, and he's gonna bring him fucking nothing but smoke, he's gonna have the the song and the graphics ready. Uh, Playboy is definitely not one to fuck with when it comes to disses. I have not yet seen Playboy flop or fail when it comes to a diss track. He comes hard, he does his research, and he he knows what the fuck he's doing. He is not he is not no he is not a fucking newbie when it comes to diss music. And like I mean it just like I kinda of think like it's kinda of like Nick versus Eminem. And Nick don't stand no fucking chance and Joker is Nick in this situation. Hundred and ten percent Nick in this situation. And like I mean, like I said, that being said, uh, Playboy the Beast also said that he would, uh, if Joker wants to go round for round like Mac Lethal and uh, Tom McDonald did, or Screwface and uh, Up Church, or you know, so on and so forth. People have been doing, you know, round for round, this, that, the other. But if he wants to do that, he's ready to go. Uh, Playboy the Beast said he will happily do, happily do round for round. But he's coming with an industry beat at the moment, so Joker best be ready. Uh, get your jester hat on, motherfucker, because Playboy the Beast is about to take your whatever crown you think you have and smash that shit. So. It's murder music, man. It's a murder gang thing. It just, it always has been. And, uh, a former, uh, member of murder gang, uh, murder music, I Am Blaze, he, uh, they did not leave on bad terms. They are still fucking CTC and I, uh, and murder music are both fucking still 
very good together. You know, they, they're not arguing, they ain't fighting with each other, none of that shit. There's no, oh, Blaze do this, none of that shit. Nothing like that. That Blaze and Playboy are still cool as fuck. They still gonna do music together. It is what it is. They just both had different brands and had different view, visions of where their brands wanted to go. No biggie. People grow up, people move on. It is what it is. Still both amazing artists. Anyways, I Am Blaze released a song called Crowd Kill featuring Young Heel Flip. The name Young Heel Flip threw me the fuck off. Like, some of these names just throw me the fuck off, but dude can spit. Um, the song is a banger. I really, everything that Blaze puts out, he he delivers that ether. I mean, we've all came to love and enjoy that ether that he sends out, he brings. I mean, if, like I said, if you like, in the notes, says, if you like to mosh, Blaze makes that bust your head music. You know, he, it is what it is. You can check out his entire catalog pretty much on SoundCloud. He is heavily on Facebook, so you can definitely see a lot of his songs and snippets on Facebook. Just scroll through his fucking page. You ain't got nothing to lose by checking it out. And another artist, man, Lock Saint, delivered a fucking end of the year banger. I don't know when he delivered it, but I'm going to say end of the year. Single Man Militia featuring Playboy the Beast and Big Looney. I know Playboy the Beast all over my motherfucking podcast today because shit's revolving around him right now. Heavy, you know what I'm saying? Uh, in the underground, anyways. Um, if you ain't in the underground, you don't know about it, you you fucking late to the game. Go, go fucking listen to some Taylor Swift or something. Or... Catch up and learn, you know what I'm saying? Either way, but this, uh, it's a banging ass song. All, uh, all three of them are fucking bona fide choppers in the underground. All three have respect in spades from millions of different fucking people all around the world. Looney and, La- and, and Saint were both on Murder Music at one point during one of the roster changes of the 2010s. It changed a few times, but Looney and Locke were both on it. Things changed. Uh, there is a... Like a code, you gotta kind of you know you gotta be sharing everybody's music equally, and everybody's gotta be involved, you know, with promotions and all this stuff. And it just wasn't happening. And now it is like with the new with the new roster of murder music. Murder music it, it's just it's everything's going good for all these artists involved. Um, last I heard, Big Looney was locked up on some federal charges. I'm not really sure about that. I haven't heard much lately. I know Lock Saint is really close to Big Looney, so I suppose I could always hit up Lock Saint and ask. I probably will do that. If he is still locked up, I hope everything works out for him. Uh, mad props to all fucking all the guys involved in the song Single Man Militia. It's just a fucking a banger of a song. And then going back to Plague, uh, the uh, J Rod the J Rod the Pussy that was produced by Young Gammy. Young Gammy is also a rapper. He's also from Minnesota. I've promoted him a fucking hundred times on my podcast. I love the guy to death. His music. Bangs, listen to Pink Choppers if you haven't. Listen to J Rod the Pussy. Listen to Donald Trump Time Traveler. Tra- Donald Trump is a tri- time traveler. Listen to Single Man Militia. Listen to Crowd Kill. If you want to listen to a shitty song, listen to the Joker's Diss against Playboy and the Beast. Listen to some of this music. Get involved and understand if you ain't with the underground, you fucking sleeping, man. Sleeping. Strange music, you know, I gotta move on now, gotta move on, strange music, man, I love, you know, I'm biased when it comes to Tech, Tech is my all-time favorite rapper, um, he, uh, he, he definitely done made some moves, he put out that music video, yeah, no, he's had the whole cathartic season, uh, he's signed, uh, King Iso, he just signed Jerry Robinson, uh, I, I, my, I'm gonna get to Jerry Robinson, he's, he's a good, he's a good artist, uh, I'm just saying, Tech has made some fucking moves, um, one of his best moves that I ever think he was ever made was signing Stevie Stone. Stevie Stone is a an amazing, gritty uh, rapper. Just goes fucking hard, no matter what. All of his songs. I mean, growing up, uh, when my kid was little, we used to love the song 808 Bendin'. We used to love the song 808 Bendin'. It was just a banger. Um, my personal favorite song off of the Force song EP that Stevie Stone dropped was uh, Technique. It's my favorite song off there. This uh, EP is called Black Lion. Definitely something that I would recommend anybody go listen to. It's only four songs, so it ain't going to take you all day. Uh, it's definitely a fucking banger. Uh, you know, it's going get to that, get that fucking music, you know what I'm saying? That's at least what I get from the song Technique. Anyways, like I said, I, uh, I, Stevie Stone is a fucking banger, dude. He's got a, he's got a good fucking uh, uh, catalog of music. And I don't mean banger as like a gangbanger. He's just got banging fucking music. Tech Nine got that ear for that shit. Like he says in, uh, in the one of the songs, Daylight with uh, Jerry Robinson, he only fucks with elites. So that's saying Stevie Stone on an elite. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. And this is a fun fact. Fun fact. Playboy the Beast and Stevie the Stone have a banger of a song called Blast on Sight. It's off. Playboy the Beast, self-made.